Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Align Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte. We are taking a look today at the latest on the New York Rangers and Pavel Buchnevich in the contract negotiations. We'll be taking a look at that in this video. If you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And let's take a look at the New York Rangers. So according to everybody's favorite guy in New York, Larry Brooks. So Larry Brooks came out with an article the other day talking about the latest on Pavel Buchnevich. And Larry Brooks suggests that the New York Rangers should keep Pavel Buchnevich at $5.5 million per season for four to five years. So let's take a look at that. So Looking at Pavel Buchnevich this season for the Rangers, he is leading the team in points. God, what's going on with the screen? He's leading the team in points. He has 29 points on the season, 11 goals, and 18 assists in 30 games played. So he's basically a point-per-game player at this rate. Uh, he's 25 years old. He's still a young gun, I guess, in a sense. The only problem is the New York Rangers cap space... You know, they had so much cap space a couple years ago when they were going in big fish hunting with Artemi Panarin. That doesn't seem to be the case so much at this point. So, uh, let's take a look here. So, we're seeing what's gone on with Buchnevich. He's been playing almost 19 minutes per game with the New York Rangers under David Quinn. So, I know you guys give me a lot of shit because I give David Quinn a lot of crap. But, I mean, he's done quite well with the emergence of Pavel Buchnevich. And I, I got to give him credit for that. Now, Buchnevich has done it himself to a degree. Uh, but, he's really thrived under David Quinn. Um... And you look at what he's done the last couple years. I mean, he's really, he's been picking it up. I mean, ever since the 2016-2017 season, he's gotten better and better pretty much every season. 20 points in his first season, 40 points, 38 points, 46 points, 29 points. At this rate, he's good for like 50 or 60 points a season over the last two years. So, you know, if it was a full season this year and last there might be some issues with Cap with our, with Pavel Buchnevich because he's going to make a lot of money. I don't think he's worth $5.5 I think he's worth more. You know, just look at what he's done the past two years. Like I said, I mean, in 68 games last year, he put up 50 points. If he played another 20 games, he might have put up close to 60 points. And this season, if it was a full season, he's on pace for a point-per-game season. He's on pace for... Pace for you know, 75 to 80 points. Now, I'm not saying he would actually get that, but 29 points in 30 games, who's to say in an 82-game season, he couldn't get 75 to 80 points, you know? And I just, again, it's one season, I get that, but now two seasons in a row, he could potentially get 60-plus points per year, leading the Rangers in points out of Artemi Panarin, Mika Zibanejad, who are making more than him. Brings up that question. And I think Larry Brooks brings up a great point. If he does sign this, this would be a bridge deal. He's making $5.5 million. This is kind of our, Pavel Buchnevich's prime. Is he ever going to see better numbers than he's doing right now? Does he want to hedge bets in four or five years from now that he's going to make more at 30 plus years old? That's a risk that he may or may not be willing to take. Now, here's the thing. Let's say he does this for another four or five years. He is going to make potentially ten plus million dollars in that next contract at thirty years old. But if he regresses and other guys on the lineup, well, I don't know, Alexi Lafreniere, Capo Caco, get more ice time than him over that time, he's not going to see the same point production he's getting right now. So is it worth for him to cash in now and get maybe that seven year deal now? Or take that four or five year deal now and make the big bucks later and bank on you getting the points that you're getting right now. I don't know if that's the best move for Buchnevich. I think he has to do his best for him. I think he's going to have to test, at least, at least test the restricted free agent market. Now, here's the other thing. He is a restricted free agent, which is good for the Rangers because they have a little bit of leverage over Pavel Buchnevich. But the problem is they don't have that much cap space. That's the biggest problem here for the Rangers. And, uh... I just don't see how he's going to want to sign for, for anything less. They have $27 million in cap space, which is good, um, but they're going, to have, they're going to have some issues here with cap space because you have to re-sign Igor Shesterkin this offseason. Ryan Lindgren is definitely not going to make nine twenty five next year. 
Uh, Libor Hayek is probably going to see a pay raise. Brett Howden, not much of a pay raise, but he's going to see a pay raise. Philip Heedle is going to see some money. Julian Gauthier is going to see some money. So that $27 million is going to quickly get eaten up. But the good news is they're going to lose probably the money of... I mean, I would hope they get rid of Anthony D'Angelo at some point. They're going to lose... Oh, no, they're still buying out... Still buying out Lundqvist, Shattenkirk. Yeah, they're still buying some guys out. Um, they're going to lose Brendan Smith's contract, which could be huge for the Rangers for cap space. But again, you're up to 32, but still that's $27 million they have in cap space. So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. The Rangers are going to be interesting this summer. If they sign Pavel Buchnevich, I think it's a good thing. But like I said, he's going to command some money. He's making a point per game right now. He's going to tell the Rangers, hey, listen up. Listen up, motherfucker. I'm making some money. You got to give me my money. And I, I could see Pavel Buchnevich leveraging that. And at the end of the day, I think teams this summer would give him an offer sheet. Listen, he's 25 years old. And if if the Rangers are going to give him five and a half, if a team offers him six or six and a half, I think teams in the marketplace are going to give him that. Now, are they going to give him that as an offer sheet is another question. Because that changes the dynamic a lot. But at 25 years old, maybe a team is willing to do that for the right price. So, guys, like I said, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you think the Rangers are going to do? Because I think we could see an interesting summer here for offer sheets. Because I think because this draft is so weird, the value of draft picks may get lowered. I may have to make a whole video about this. Because don't be surprised if we see some offer sheets. Because this year and next, in terms of you know the draft... It's going to be very weird because of this whole... You know, the, the value of draft picks is going to go down greatly because a lot of players are not playing a lot this year and next year. And it's going to affect the draft rankings for these guys. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how teams handle their draft picks for this year and next. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you think of Pavel Buchnevich signing a 5 to $5.5 million contract with the Rangers? Do you think that's a little bit of a low ball offer? Or do you think that's fair for Pavel Buchnevich? Let me know what you think down below. And if you guys like what we're doing here at Gold Line Hockey, you want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.